one of the biggest IPO of this year, SBI Cards IPO. Yes, friends, people may say invest in SBI Cards IPO. Uh, their financials are good. They are, uh, I mean, they will, they will try to say all those important facts. But I think rather from the financial part of data, these are the another important facts. These are the dangers for SBI Cards IPO. This may turn upside down SBI Card IPO. I mean. SBA card IPO may be successful, the share may get listed, but what is the future impact that is going to be I'm going to discuss about in this video. So friends, welcome back to my channel and if you are new to this channel, then make sure you click the subscribe button because you could get our latest updates regarding many shares including this share also. So the first and most thing is that the IPO opens on 2nd March of 2020 and closes on 5th March of 2020. So basically, I mean March 2nd is tomorrow. So March 2nd, 2020, SBA Cards IPO is opening. So lot of people are very, very much eager on SBA Cards IPO because it is one of the biggest blockbusters people are thinking that may happen in this year. For example, that I tried to say previous year, government has given on stock named IRCTC Limited IPO. Lot of people, 100% I mean, over subscription has been done on this share and which made the share now stay in the range of 1800 where the share price in the IPO was on the 300 rupees. So basically you should think a main fact reference is that uh, now the coronavirus impact which has made the market to slow down a bit. Maybe people may think a tension in this share but I think all will be very very good. So the price range is from 750 to 755. So 19 rupees. So basically as we say B rules you should not uh, increase the lot above 19. So I mean above 15,000 15, rupees. So 755 into 19 gives you around 14,345 rupees per lot. So second important news is that if you are a shareholder of SBI, would you get any discount? So they have given that shareholders of State Bank of India can apply in a category with special reservations and will not be eligible for discount, will not be eligible for discount. So what they are basically trying to say is that if you hold State Bank of India share or SBA share as on February 18, 2020, you will get the higher probability, you may get a higher chance of getting an allotment because only 13 crore shares, 1, 3, 13 crore shares is being traded in the market for this IPO allotment. So if you are holding SBA share as on the date of February 2020, you may get a beautiful chance, I mean you can get the uh, probability of allotment if you have applied for this share. So the third important news about this company is that I want to this news is very very important. I think uh, most of the people will not say this news because SBA calls the second biggest credit card company all may say but you should note that average spend is more than the HDFC bank. So per person they are spending around 1,4813. If you compare with HDFC bank it is 1,44,770 but if we see all this city bank is exceeding the limit 1,99,000 they have only 2.7 million customers but that is not a matter of fact because the per person amount is very very good and also you should note the main point that 8.3 million subscribers is the amount of card they are having and the total cards is around 18% of the total cards that means for an example, if you are having 100 cards, 18% of, I mean 18 cards are of the SBA card, I mean SBA card and also 27 cards in this is HDFC bank cards. So the third important or the fourth important news is that how much credit cards as on March 2019. So if you think guys, uh, 82 lakh, 82 lakh 71,446 is the amount of cards, SBA cards people are holding. but 1.24 I mean 1.24 crore shares is, I mean 1.24 crore credit cards has been hold by HDFC cards so that is a market pressure that is being faced by HDFC and SBA cards so this is the main tension which may vary time to time so if in this IPO this company SBA is having 18 percentage of share and this is having 27 percentage of share anything can happen but HDFC market share can increase and SBA cards may decrease and SBA cards may increase and HDFC card may decrease. So all these things is the main factor. It is not like IRCTC where 
one share is a monopoly company here there are duopoly so many companies are issuing their own type of credit cards and that is a very very important factor to note friends and it is very important because these numbers of variable are not constant suppose if you are holding SBI card today you may think i will close the bank and go to SCC bank because they are providing much offer when compared to SBI cards so that is a main important thing how going, how are you going to retain your customers is the main point in this card segment business of SBI and the fourth important news or the sixth important news of this is that the financial performance you should note this amount are expressed in million so if you think friends the total revenue has been in a staggered range as you can see here the total revenue has been staggered range so March 2018 51,000 uh, 51, crore million and uh, if you see for the year end, it is 69 million. So, a basic thing you should note in is the interest income. For the year end, they are earning around 35 uh, million, 35,000 million. But in half year, they are earning around 22 million. So, that is the different uh, amount of capability they are going to able to gain in this. And also, you should note that the other income must be in constant. So basically financially performance are very good because they are having around 80 to lakh customers in SBA cards IPO. But how is going to impact the next slide will definitely tell you because the CEO of this SBA cards has said this case and they have given that increase the market share in the card has been 18% from 15% the last 5 years. So 3% are going to, they are trying to increase in the last 3 years and also they said that almost 52% of business comes from the open market. So open market means normal in the trade but the 48% is between SBG and other 9 banks. I have carded 2.1 million subscribers customers of SBA already. So now what they are trying to say is a very very important factor of point guys because uh, you should note a main point here SBA bank is one of the one, I mean it's the largest bank in India the largest subscribers base. So they have the easiest chance to get the customers in order to buy the SBA cards and use them but you should note that how long it will continue it will continue forever if you think friends uh, that's no because uh, we don't know how it's going to impact and as you know where HDFC is having 27 percentage of stake and is having 18 percentage of stake uh, this is a merit point even if they, if they try to bring it to 27 HDFC performance operational performance and the amount of discount HDFC is giving is very very good and as you note uh, one of the main points is that SBA is a government bank and that is only the main factor people are very very uh, happy but HDFC is a private bank and SBA cards is a uh, government based company so it is it, it is not only about common case but it, but it is a government based company so basic can you apply if you ask me yes you can apply you may expect a 100% return or maybe a 50% return so suppose if you are, if you are buying in the range of 755 if you put at least 300 rupees that, that, that means I mean 350 rupees you are getting around 1000 plus rupees so that is that would be I mean we think the 350 rupees would be the IPO margin people may get minimum people may get this guys because if you put 755 plus 350 you are getting around 1105 that would be our according to our calculation 1105 would be the listing price for this company because I think the people are very minimum 1105 because people are very much fond of the share and people are thinking that there is value hidden in this SBA cards IPO so if this company get listed it can, it can easily cross the 1 lakh crore of market capital and it may move up easily and at a point of time it may even exceed the parent company called SBA bank because you should note that for example, you say HDFC company was listed in the market first, HDFC Limited, and another time HDFC Bank was listed, which was a which was a child company of the parent company, HDFC Limited. Now HDFC Bank is the second largest market capital where it exceeded its parent company, and SBA cards may also do it. But according to all this, the risk is a very very important. Point. The risk is a very very important. Why I, I want to tell about this company because. Always there are very risk in this company because customer centric is a very very important factor people one time may buy this uh, I mean people one time may invest in this company or go and also you should note that as we already discussed the main points the customer base that's what the main problem here and the customer base is not correct means I think 
this would be a main problem because if you see ICIC and SBI cars have been the close range for just 20 lakhs but if we compare SBI and HDFC there are 40 lakh customers even though the consumer base or subscriber base that means amount of customers of SBI is higher than that of the HDFC but HDFC is trying to gain its momentum and is trying to increase a credit card customer base we will compare all over the world India is very much low because per 100 per her 100 persons only 3 persons are holding credit cards because as you know the credit cost or the credit card charges they are charging is very very high and that is one of the major probability for this company but people will think why why do I want to buy at this uh, level of charges given with this company so people may not offer this card and any other finance instruments may be invented or instrumented in this market but all these risk factors are implemented so why i am basically speaking about this because people may tell me the finance performance are good they have finance performance increase note friends that have past performance that has been given this company you are investing in ipo with future return you should know what will be the future impact and what can be the future impact and how will it go in future not only this ipo is important people may sometimes invest in ipo and come out that is not the main factor the valuation and also the market capital gain the basic concept of share market is that you should gain the maximum wealth by investing a minimal amount that is the main factor you should not but in a good stock so i think i need to explain these factors of sba cars ipo so that you could get a knowledge about these things and i think i gonna end this video now i think i have i have tried to help you people with the, with a lot of informations or with a bit of informations which could help you a lot and this is about sba cars ipo friends if you are in this video till now then make sure you can click the subscribe button because you could get a latest updates regarding many shares including this SBA cards IPO and thank you once again friends if you like this video then make sure you share this video friends so that they could also get a knowledge about this SBA cards IPO and unknown facts about SBA cards IPO friends thank you once again